Okay, uh, we do not have anyone signed up. Uh, no, next we're going to public hearings. Public hearings, presentations uh, uh, on 7A, presentation by representatives of Stony Creek Hospitality Corporation to provide an update of Stony Creek Hotel and Conference Center. And Jim Thompson is gonna do that, so Jim. Well, thank you all for squeezing me into your busy agenda here. I, I'm uh, really here just to kind of report in, uh, let you know that we're making some good progress, give you some sense of uh, where we think we are at schedule-wise and so forth. But first, I just want to, for any of you who may not have had the occasion to drive down Albany here in the last uh, few months, I don't know how you could miss us, but, <laughs> but if you have, we're going to give you just a little update as of uh, last Friday. We do this twice a month, by the way. We have a, a, a drone. The only structure that isn't come out of the ground yet is the pool building, which uh, you can just see in this video, uh, ground preparation for the uh, footings that uh, are now in. So there'll be yet another building component on that complex, which I think will make a stunning impact. quite a bit from where we are in this one. Um, the lower parking area, curb and gutter is all in, islands. Uh, they're very close to uh, base coat on the, on the lower parking area. Upper parking area is complete as seen here. Last week we moved our job trailer up to the uh, to the high ground up top as we had to relocate it for some work that needs to be done uh, that the trailer unfortunately wound up in in the way so uh, had to be relocated um, the uh, I think we are about four weeks behind schedule behind our schedule we're hopeful that uh, much of that ground can can be made up the uh, uh, the aerials, uh, we've progressed on the building to, uh, uh, we're finishing the framing on the four, on the four story. We're, we call it building C is the conference center, building B is the mil middle building, and then the building C, or A is the, is the right building that's now just getting finished up in framing. The pool building then would be a separate component. So we've kind of re reorganized our strategy to approach the uh, project in building quads. And so we're starting on the interior finishes now in the conference center in about three weeks. And then uh, uh, rough in and drywall is, is starting in uh, insulation and drywall is starting in building B, the center building. And then building A is, uh, is just in uh, various stages of mechanical rough ends and then uh, structural finish framing. Uh, pool building will be, uh, will, will come a little bit later, uh, the framing part of it, but we should be out of the ground within a month or so. Uh, 
here really to answer questions. If you've got any, uh, if you're curious about something, uh, be happy to. So do you think you'll be dried in and see probably in a couple of weeks or what? what do you think? Yeah, uh, interior finishes in the in the conference center. No, building C dried in on the roof and on the. Last I, I'm sorry. That's building A. Oh, I building apologize. A. I think I, I I got I got myself Whichever. flipped around, but but the yes, one that you're framing on. Yes, yes. We we should be we should be enclosed, and uh, and roofed within two weeks. So and then we've got some loose ends to finish up in the building B or the center building, and then we'll be able to. Uh, uh, we'll the strategy will then be to take that that building. Uh, from lower level to fourth floor uh, complete um, as as we start phasing the interior finishing projects. And that will have another advantage in that most of our public's spaces are in that building, in that chamber. So a lot of our finish out uh, and time consuming finish out that tends to, to, become, to uh, come in at the end of the project is now going to be uh, in the middle of the finish out project and so uh, we think that's going to be efficient as well Do you think but, you'll make your time up on the interior? Well, that's project? that's that's what we're going to give her a go at we're we're we're, we're still sticking with a, a September soft opening uh, We have uh, had some conversation with uh, Wes and the chamber and and uh, uh, and, and Michael too for that matter just with some general target of, of a December 1 grand opening celebration, which would be a community-wide celebration, details to follow, but it, it will be something that uh, uh, we, we intend to make a, uh, a, a real uh, can't-miss event for the community. We hope that that's, that's the way that will work. And so that's kind of the time frame. So a soft opening September uh, with a grand opening dis uh, in December, December 1st, just ahead of the, all the Christmas parties. We'll uh, kick, get the Christmas season kicked off with a bang. Um, so that's our schedule. That's good, and, it's, and it does sound like you're going to be able to make those, those dates, it looks like. And, uh, of course, it's been – I know nothing happens overnight. It's taken a long time. We oh, it does. We started working on this in 2004, this concept. So uh, we appreciate – It's uh, incredible to think about, yeah, isn't it, really? <laughs> well, time. Time. I, I still remember – Flying up to Quad Cities with a little group to oh yes to visit you yeah. all the, back it's, then <clears throat> and it's uh, it's so it's so uh, joyful to see things really just about done now yeah. finally after well we've got some very interesting exterior finishes that are going on that building too that I think you're going to be very happy with we have seven different textures on that exterior of that building so wow. it's going to be a very very interesting. Uh, building from the from the street that's for sure well, well we're excited to get it Didn't, open I, I appreciate the uh, the time we wanted to have an opportunity to just uh, let you know we're here and available for questions if you wondered what was going on thank lots you. of hard work thank yeah you. Well, lots of hard work yes. left well that but, <laughs> oh likes finishing though yeah yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> well i i like to think of it as the it's kind of the fun starts about now yeah. you know as the you as go. the different finished materials and interior starts to take shape and you get you get the real uh sense of character that we hope will be incorporated into the into the complex that's the that's the goal well the buzz is certainly happening because i get asked periodically you know when's that opening yeah. out you know and, and people drive by and they're calling and saying it so that the excitement is building, and Good. Uh, so you know we're holding you to it. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, and and um, uh, and to that point, we have an exciting meeting tomorrow with the uh, uh, with the chamber, the EDC, and and uh, we're uh, developing a plan and strategy, getting organized for uh, a real pre-marketing presence. Uh, so we have a we have a team. I have a team of folks down here. Uh, there's seven of us this uh, this week. So. Uh, all of those operational details are starting to get uh, in, into play as well, and, and a, you can you can you can be sure that we're going to have a very aggressive pre-marketing strategy and a very aggressive uh, sales and marketing strategy uh, post-opening. And we've got some ideas that a little premature to share. Uh, Michael and I have talked briefly about some of them, and I think you're going to be very.
very pleased with the with the approach we're going to take for getting our getting our name out there and making an an impact right out of the right out of the gate. So very mindful that this is a community. Uh, this this has uh, uh, impact well beyond uh, our project and and well into the community. So we're we're intending to do our part in that and. We've been very pleased with the support we've received from, from all of your team and, and staff. Is it, it's it's gone very well. So we're grateful for that. We're all looking forward to the opening. Have yes. a great evening. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.